It's severe weather preparedness week. Don't get swept up by the storm without good coverage. Joining us on what we need to know is Ian Giamanco, lead meteorologist at the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, good to be here. Okay, what you've got behind you is something that we'd all like to try to avoid, but it is inevitable, right? With storms, South Carolina gets the hurricanes, the tornadoes, the floods, you name it. We get earthquakes, we get them all. Um, so what would you say is a good place for homeowners to start to make sure that they've got coverage to fix what's behind you in that picture? That's exactly right. So the first thing, you know, going into uh, severe weather season, even hurricane season here in the Carolinas, get with your insurance agent and go through your policy. Make sure you know what's covered and what's not. Um, if you're in a flood zone, then it's important really to have flood insurance. But it's always a good idea to sit down with your agent and review what's in your insurance policy uh, so you can be ready. Um, if you have that unfortunate circumstance where you need to uh, look to file a claim. Yeah, and insurance or flood insurance is not something that comes with every policy. That's something separate. That's right. It's through the National Flood Insurance Program. So it is separate from your, your typical homeowner's policy. And another good tip that we like to tell people going into uh, all of our different weather seasons here in the Carolinas, go do a home inventory. Take your cell phone out. Make sure you've got the geotagging and the timestamp info on there and go take pictures of all your really important things. It makes the process so much faster if you have that worst day and need to file a claim. Most definitely. And let's talk about roofs because there are all different kinds of roofs. We tend to be a fan of the metal roof here in South Carolina. You see them everywhere, especially along the coast. Um, so when homeowners are even selecting a roof, if they need to update them, what do you think is the best way to go? What would be best on their wallet in the long term? Right. So we encourage folks, if you have to put a new roof on, uh, to go uh, check out our Fortified Roof program. It's got three simple steps that you can take to your contractor that helps get you a better, stronger roof. Uh, it's an enhanced nailing structure, so you get better nails that resist uplift, uh, keeps that roof deck down. Uh, it's got a sealant, a tape that goes over the seams on your deck, so if you do lose shingles, it keeps water from getting in your home. And we know if water gets in your home, whatever reason it may be, it is not a good thing. Uh, and then there's some details on the edge that help keep the shingles locked down. That's a vulnerable spot for wind to get at those shingles. Uh, so check out fortifiedhome.org. You can see those tips to take to your contractor. In most instances, you're talking maybe, you know, 8%, 10%, a little bit higher in cost, uh, but can lead to a big amount of savings. And talk to your agent, too. You might qualify for a discount with your fortified roof. All right. Now, briefly, what about renter's insurance? Is that recommended? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you should have renter's insurance if you're a renter. That can cover a lot of that interior damage to your contents. And same as we tell homeowners, make an inventory, take your cell phone out, go take pictures of all yes. your valuables and those, those uh, your televisions, your washer, dryer, and your, your keepsake kind of things. It's going to make that process a lot faster. So please, if you're a renter, uh, get that renter's insurance. In most cases, it is not very expensive um, and it can be a lifesaver if uh, that worst day happens. All right, business owners, how about for them? What do they need? Yeah, so business owners, same, same kind of thing. Um, think about meeting with your uh, insurance broker. If you have a broker or an agent, go through your policy, see what's there. Uh, also check out some of our resources on our, our business ready guides for Thunderstorm. There are things you can do around your business to get ready in the case of severe weather, like making sure your signs are secured or if you got pallets outside in the back on a loading dock, make sure to bring those inside uh, so they don't become flying debris. So a lot of those same tips that we talk to homeowners, you can apply to your business too. Are you hearing of anybody making claims and then getting canceled? Does that happen a lot? Uh, no, I, uh, that that's something, you know, you have to deal with your own insurer, talk to them uh, about the process. That's why we talk about documentation. Uh, it's really important for you as the home and business owner. Make sure you document all your stuff. It can make things go much, much smoother. You have all that information and it's well documented and it can make that process go from kind of a headache and, and a frustration level to really smooth. And, and you, you know, your insurer wants to get you back on your feet as much as you do uh, and get you back to normal. Got to have insurance. I want to thank you so much, Ian. And I just want to remind everybody that according to the National Weather Service statewide, there will be a tornado drill Wednesday, March 10 at 9 a.m. So just be aware that that's happening. Thank you so much, Ian, for your time. We appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome. We're back after this.